and you go into a pharmacy, it's easy to become overwhelmed from the vast selection of different medicines for your different symptoms that you're experiencing. Hi, I'm Dr. Savage. I'm an osteopathic family practice physician from Tampa. I'm here to plainly describe, in my opinion, which medicines, over-the-counter medicines, would be most effective for certain symptoms. First of all, let's talk about pain. It depends on what type of pain you're having. If it's an acute injury, such as a muscle, tendon, or joint, mild sprain or strain, I would recommend anti-inflammatory medicines, such as ibuprofen or naproxen, which is a pain reliever and, at the same time, decreases inflammation in that area, which doubly helps decrease the pain. Another situation when anti-inflammatory medicines would be helpful is things such as a mild headache, also menstrual cramps, very effective in treating menstrual cramps. Now for Tylenol, also known as acetaminophen, it's a non-anti-inflammatory type of pain medicine. You can take that in the same situation and it may be just as effective for those symptoms, but I would prefer to use that in situations such as, you know, having a mild headache. It's also good for treating fever. Now, in terms of common cold, sinus congestion, you've got a couple of different selections. You've got expectorants, and you have decongestants. Expectorants, my favorite, is guaifenesin. It does a great job at helping out the mucus and allows you to get the snot out, basically. Decongestants, such as Sudafed, they do a great job at drying the mucous membranes. One thing to be concerned about is if you have high blood pressure or history of stroke or, or heart attack, that is a contraindication for taking the medicine. In other words, it's not the best idea to, to take that. So I, in that situation, I'd recommend, once again, going with the expectorant guaifenesin. One other thing that helps with congestion would be nasal saline. It does a great job at clearing the snot out. That simplifies everything you're looking at. I hope this is helpful for you next time you go to your pharmacy. I'm Dr. Savage, and I wish you the best of health.